Yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, call me Steve O. Oh. Oh. I'm a wild boy, fuck, I ain't I need O. Oh. What's up guys, Avenger Vass here. I'm um, doing another Marvel Legends store review of the Marvel Legends Black Cat. This figure is awesome and sexy. This is an awesome figure. First off, she comes with the uh, torso to Green Goblin. I don't have Carnage yet, he's still on the way. But, um, this figure is awesome. She comes with, you know, the torso to Carnage, I mean... Green Goblin, and she also comes with this like whip. I saw if you if any of you have played um, Spider-Man: Web of Shadows, you may have seen this where she like where in her, one of her attacks she like uses this claw thing, and I like it. It's very cool. It's just it's not bendy, you know. It's in this one pose, but it is in a pliable plastic, but it's still not you know bendy where I can like do a lot of things with it. But it is very cool. I like the the claw, and that this that this is like a rope. This is very very cool. Now the figure itself, this is an awesome figure. Way better than the Toy Biz one, even though I don't have it. I from just seeing, I can just see that this is amazing. Uh, even though the Toy Biz one has better articulation, I do like this one for its articulation and sculpt because. With the Toy Biz one, you can't really do a lot of things that um, are, like, cool. Because the figure does not look right. But the head sculpt... Let me get this lighting right. Head sculpt is awesome. Very pretty. It's beautiful. I like the red lipstick. Let me get this lighting in closer. I like the red lipstick. I like her mask. Her eyes are very, I mean not eyes, her hair is very nice. I like how it's white and then has that blue. Very cool. Um, same thing right here for fur on the breast. Her breasts are actually very nice. I'm, I'm not trying to sound like a pervert, but they're very nice. I really like them. I like the zipper. I like the fur for the arms and on the boots. I think it's on her back too. Let me check. Yeah, it is on her back. You can see right here, there's fur on her back. She also has a collar, which is very cool because Black Cat does wear a collar. So I like that they paid attention to detail. Let me get this back in. Um, I like the, how the suit looks tight. I'm not trying to, like I said, I'm not trying to sound like a pervert, but the suit looks very tight. You can see her abs right there. It's very, very tight. I don't know if it's the same on the Satana. Like, this is the same mold. Let me see. They're kind of the same. This one looks more tighter because you can see the wrinkles. There's all oh, crap. You can see the wrinkles in the suit. I really like that. That's paying attention to great detail. The heels, um, they're cool. I just wish that they were a, a, little, a bit longer so she can stand better. But I'm good at standing figure so it's not a, that big of a problem she has these claws i mean these nails that are sharp not like really sharp but they're somewhat sharp very very cool figure and um let me see what else that's basically it for the sculpt the articulation is a bit to, a bit to be desired the head looks down a little bit moves up like up a little bit barely moves up or moves up and down I mean back and forth up and down she has no bicep swivel which isn't that big of a deal for me she does have a forearm swivel and single jointed elbow first move side to side and it shifts back and forth like it did on the Hawkeye um, I wish it had I don't really mind that it is, doesn't move up and down because humans hands do go like that but it would have been cool if it was up and down. She has a very nice um, diaphragm joint. It moves inward a little bit. moves back 
a decent amount. No swivel at the waist, like it was forward and back, out, not out that much. But if you do want to have her in a kicking pose, you have to do it like this instead of out, out, which kind of sucks. Legos, she has a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, no calf swivel, but the foot moves side to side, up and down, and she has an ankle pivot. So that is very, very cool. Let me get her to stand up. Um, comparing her to the Satanimo crap. Um, you know, I really like this mold that Hasbro's doing. I just wish that they added, um, a castle and the, a better neck joint. And for the Spider Girl, I've seen a few reviews on it. They have improved on that articulation. Now, if you guys remember me, um, in August of 2013, I said, if this black cat is sexier than the... Marvel Select one, then I will love Hasbro. And I have to say it, it is. Even though I do like the the stature of this one, I do like this one I mean I do like this one because it is more more poseable and it's just very when figures to me are poseable that that is very cool. I do like statues, but figures that are poseable are like awesome. That's why I don't collect statues a lot. But this one is very sexy. It's just I really like this one more. Um, comparing her to Bucky Cap, she is taller than him because of her heels, which um, isn't really a big deal. I just it's natural. They didn't like do it too short, doing too tall. Let me compare it to Spider Man. She is taller. Which, um, isn't too bad. But, um, it could be a little better. So, overall, this figure gets, uh, 9.5. This is a great figure. If, only if this, the heels were a little bit better, it would have a perfect 10. But, this figure is awesome. So, if you guys can pick it up, find it, whatever, um... I, like I said in my birthday haul, I did see it at that Toys R Us I told you about, but I already knew it was coming, so I didn't pick it up. But um, they might be like popping up more because the variants are becoming like more rare, so you might find one of these. So I really hope you guys do find like at least one. Or if let me just say it, I don't have Carnage yet, but so far on the wave, if you were to get two figures it would be the amazing spider-man and the black cat these are great figures i don't have carnage yet so i can't say that carnage is one of those but from what i can see carnage is awesome but pick this figure up it's very awesome and i'm avenger vasty and i'll catch you later